Hi viewers, just a quick catch up video. I haven't posted a pickups video in quite some while because uh, I've just been very busy with work and a lot of the pieces that I have bought are uh, locked away in storage. But I will show you a few recent pickups, uh, starting with the two ounce Queen's Beast Unicorn, which I'm sure you've all seen already. And I also picked up a 2002 Britannia. Um, I do try and pick these up when I can. They're not as cheap as the new ones, but uh, what can you do? I picked up a couple of Victorian crowns. This is an 1887 in uh, reasonable condition. I've had better, but I've seen worse. And an 1889, both pretty common dates. And also picked up a 1935, which is George V. I also picked up the Perth Mint Proof Swan to go with my BU Swans which again is a coin I'm sure you've all seen already let's see if we can get this proof to focus kind of yeah very low mintage and first year of issue so good to be putting, about, putting by I also picked up some Swiss gold bullion this is the 20 francs from 1980 with Helvetia, which I have of course flipped the wrong way. It's 90% gold and 6.45 grams. Those that know me know that I've got a sense of humour. So uh, this very appropriate vintage postcard was uh, sent to me. Yes, very entertaining indeed. And uh, the same sender, who happens to be from Instagram, also sent me this Fisher Space Pen, which I'm sure many of you will have heard about. Um, yeah, he knows I like my pens. I'm always writing stuff. And those damn Colonial Acres pens have all run out. As lovely as they write, they've run out. So, uh, thank you very much for that, my friend. Uh, he also sent me my first vintage Hoffman and Hoffman silver unicorn from 1981. So, a lovely bit of vintage silver there. Another gift I received was actually this. Yes, an Invicta um, Grand Diver watch, and that was from David Argento. For those that don't know David, um, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Finally, on to a kind of unboxing, or well, I kind of have opened it, but that's as far as I've got. Now I know who it's from, and you might do too, it's from Laura Blade. So let's take a look and see what Laura has sent. I can see a card in there, so let's start with that. Happy Christmas. <laughs> with a little polar bear, I'll just make sure there's nothing personal on there. No, there's not. Merry Christmas. Hope the new year is a good one. Yeah, I hope so too, Laura. I've been certainly been flat out with work lately and uh, not having much time for watching YouTube videos, but there you go. Thank you for that, Laura. And let's see what else we've got in here. Some bubble. And, well, let's start with this. Oh, that's, uh, oh, that's obviously meant to be Santa's jacket and belt, isn't it? Yeah. I'm curious now. Has she sent me chocolates back? <laughs> oh no, no. Oh, it's a Libertad. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much for that, Laura. 
I can't see what year it is. Oh, 2017. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much. That is very, very generous of you. A cute Santa team. And I wonder what this could be. Maybe this is chocolate. No, it is of course, <laughs> as I guessed, the CCT knife. I'm amazed they actually managed to inscribe that whole thing on there <laughs> rather than CCT. <laughs> what an awesome piece of kit that is. Oh, got caught on the tripod that time. <laughs> Let's do that again. Wow, lovely smooth action on that knife. I'm gonna try uh, cutting a bit of paper with it later, Laura. Thank you so much, that is awesome. Igor will be envious of that one. Anyway, that's about that for that video. Thank you all for watching and uh, hope to catch up with you all soon.